Lucas Media. So Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are going to fight Saturday, July 20th at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, live on Netflix. Wow. Now, first of all, let me start with this. Who would ever thought that Jake Paul would have a a fight against Mike Tyson? Jake Paul, younger than me, I think he's what, probably under 30. And he's really came in the sport and became one of the biggest pay-per-view stars. A YouTuber. So that just lets you know how powerful YouTubers are, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I know they both about to get a hell of a payday. And Netflix, they've been trying to get into live events for the longest because that's where the money is at now. I think they got a bit, uh, they signed a major deal with WWE. I know they wanted to get the NFL Sunday ticket at one point. So them getting into live boxing, I can definitely see that for sure. Uh, they're trying to compete with Amazon, clearly with the PBC. But um, I mean, obviously, I think Mike Tyson's going to go somewhat easy on Jake Paul. He would literally delete that man in the ring if he really wanted to. But, you know, it's all entertainment. I'm not mad at this fight, honestly. I'm not mad at either one of them. If I'm Jake Paul, you're going against one of the most popular athletes of all time. And you finna get a hell of a payday. And I'm home Mike Tyson. You're going against a popular YouTuber. That's a quick, easy, you know, 10, 15 million for an eight-round exhibition, however long it's going to be. And for the actual fighters, man, see, this is what I like about Jake Paul. I believe he kind of bounces around. You know, he don't have an exclusive deal with Al Heyman or or Bob Arum or whoever. He can do what he want. And a lot of the fighters was hating on him for getting all these paydays. But y'all need to be more like Jake Paul, honestly. You need to market yourself online. And y'all need to stop signing these rap deals, you know, which I want to call it, but these rap deals that are really boxing deals and y'all can't really do nothing. You know, Jake Paul is active out here, but what about all the PBC fighters? You know, what about a lot of the other fighters on, on top rank and just, you know, these fighters, they can't really even get any exposure or they do a terrible job at it. In my opinion, the best person that ever really done it was Adrian Broner. Up oh, here go the dogs. It never fails, y'all. Every time I try to record a video. But, um, no, man, shout out to them, man. I can't even be mad at it, man. Go go and get this easy payday for both of these people. But, Jake, you, you better be careful, man. Mike Tyson hits you. It's over. You know, yeah, he in his late 50s, but you'll still go to sleep now. But, yeah, I mean, I ain't mad at it. It's time to get this money, y'all. Tell me what y'all think.